So as we continue our countdown to Friday football fever, we take a look at a team that will depend heavily on its defense, at least early on. The Troop Tigers are coming off their second consecutive winning season and their second straight trip to the playoffs. It's the blue collar attitude their town prides itself in. As he enters his 11th overall season as head coach of the Tigers, John Eastman has a young group to develop. But with some experienced players back defensively, he will rely on their effort to maximize their team speed on that side of the ball. We like to get after it. Like we always say, wreak havoc, cause disruption. Any, any way you can. We have speed and we have heart, so using those two together, it just makes out for a great outcome. I'm not going to sit here and tell you we're the fastest team or anything like that, but we got good team speed and, and good quickness. They mentally understand what we're trying to do defensively and, and it allows them to play faster. But with only seven seniors and just three starters back on offense, Eastman will have to groom a new quarterback among other pieces. Sophomore Kevin Pierce and junior Trevor Padilla are competing for the starting job. They're both very mobile which is great, so if no one's open, they can run. That You always need that in a quarterback, I think, at least. They both have really strong arms. Both of them have their strengths. Both of them have their weaknesses. The biggest thing is just getting some experience at the game speed level. There's only one way to learn that, and that's to go through it. But ultimately, this troop bunch understands what's at stake for them as the world continues to battle through this global pandemic. If one of us gets like the COVID, so one of us is out for an entire week, and that's one of our top people, kind of walking on eggshells. <laughs> when they leave from us, we, you know, they got to be responsible. They got to take care of their business and make sure we're taking care of things off the field. Kids have been doing awesome, though. I've been proud of them. It's, it's made, made my job easier. Troop opens the season at Alto on Friday, August 28th, and they will host a three-way scrimmage with Sabina and Wascom next Thursday evening.